Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio, Sino Land in Shenzhen, just south of the Tropic of Cancer. Best of the left, cancerous talcum powder killing children. It's called capitalism. Change to socialism or die. And pictured above, Benito Mussolini, Italy's World War II era dictator, defined fascism as the union of state and corporate power, which since 15th century colonialism has been a, daily, a fact of daily life in the West, and as a result, most of the world. Monsanto binds state and national governments to do its dirty work and deny the obvious fact that its multi-billion dollar blockbuster poison Roundup is killing our only home. Is capitalism what it does best? Story, lots of links. Go to the uh, SoundCloud and YouTube um, channels to get the uh, all the links. If you understand how capitalism works, today's headlines about Johnson & Johnson knowingly selling cancerous asbestos-laden talcum powder from the 1970s to the 2000s and used primarily on infants and children should be no surprise. I researched this for some time and in another article noted, and I quote, According to product liability laws, companies have no legal obligation to stop using dangerous or lethal products. A moral duty, yes, but not a legal obligation. They can hide damaging proof that they are killing or hurting people. They can spend a fortune on propaganda to counter the truth, and they can bribe government officials with legal and illegal donations to stop any public or official inquiry into their damage to people and the environment. All they have to risk is a lawsuit and maybe pay a fine, which these days not even bothering have to, they don't even have to bother to apologize. Nice and clean and neat, and it's all legal. Since when did morals have anything to do with capitalism? It's all about making as much money in as short a period of time as possible and the consequences to anything and anybody other than the CEO, officers, and board of directors. I wrote and podcasted about this recently. Capitalism can only, quote, work, end of quote, for the company's owners, they externalize all the death, destruction, and harm they cause onto society at large and onto the government to eventually cover the cost via people's taxes. In the above two articles I cited, I talked about how Merck, M-E-R-C-K, knowingly exterminated up to 500,000 people, half a million people with their legal lethal drug, Vioxx, V-I-O-X-X, they made billions, paid a small fine, no one went to jail. No one even had to apologize for their commercial genocide. It's called capitalism. End of quote. Humanity is being destroyed as long as capitalism is the economic system we accept. The only hope the 99% has for survival is for global socialism, which is a steep hill to climb, granted. We have to start somewhere. China offers a good example to work off of. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio Sinoland, signing out from Shenzhen. Have a wonderful weekend.